D-V-B-L-M is still pronounced double M. I, I'm getting the and hey, it's, it's double M. It's pronounced double M. Um, the double M is really Marika Music. My name was Marika Music um, for a while. I've had so many nicknames, seeing as how my government name is Marika. I've been called Markers, America, New York, everything. They, they don't stop. So I'm so used to it, you know, so I never, I never get offended. <laughs> your girl double m i'm an artist from toronto and you are now watching my session with off the record you guys have the kendrick you have the kendrick and rita marley hey shout out rita marley shout out all the marleys i will come from it's foundation uh -huh. what's the saddest song you've ever heard so the saddest song i've ever heard was dance with my father Luther Vandross, it speaks to me on so many different levels because my father passed when I was two, two days before my second birthday. So for me, that from I was young, I heard that song and it spoke to me because I heard what he was saying and and my father passed as well. So always. Um, another one was um, is so, um, goodbye's the saddest word I'll ever hear. That um, Celine Dion, Celine Dion, Celine Dion. Yeah, so um, those are the two. Sad, those are those are some sad songs. Um, does your music fit into your local scene? If so, how do you take advantage of that? If not, do you see that as an obstacle? And what do you do about it? I feel like it does fit into my local scene. Um, I feel like I have that raw Toronto kind of vibes, that raw kind of slang type thing, and that's what I say. That I do all of that in my music, and also. Um, with the drill right now we it's like we heard drill coming from the UK and we ran with it and that's exactly you know I dropped get wide and then body out freestyle those are both drills so I feel like it's I'm doing what I'm supposed to do it fit right there fit right there yeah question 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 hey Shaka Khan pick up on yourself when I have like a history like a history What's the meaning behind your name, Double M, D-V-B-L-M? Okay, so, D-V-B-L-M is still pronounced Double M. I, I'm getting the difference, and hey, it's, it's Double M. It's pronounced Double M. Um, the Double M is really Marika Music. My name was Marika Music um, for a while. I've had so many nicknames, seeing as how my government name is Marika. I've been called Markers, America, New York, everything. They, they don't stop. So. I'm so used to it, you know, so I never, I never get offended. Um, I'm cool like that, but you know, so um, yeah, double M, it was Marika Music, and then to make it shorter, um, I just said double M, and then I spelt it D-V-B-L-M, because um, I felt like the, just the double M was so common when I typed it in on the internet, so I tried to find a different way to spell it, and now it's doing the damn thing, yeah. Um, yes, you are the only, Female artist on Six Buzz Canada's Most Wanted album, which is amazing. Do you think other female Canadian rappers are being slept on? Yes, they're being slept on, napped on, lit on, pun, everything. Um, there's so many of us, you know, and, and that's what I was saying before. There's so many um, female artists and um, yeah, for sure, we're being slept on. You know, we have something to say and it doesn't always have to do like with ass and titties. We actually have something to say, you feel me? So. Um, yeah, definitely. There's some talented artists out there, and they need to be recognized. And I'm one of them. <laughs> and I'm one of them. Yeah, get me. Hey, sick. Shout out, Canada. Uh, what artist from Canada would you like to collaborate with now? In a perfect world. In a perfect world, if I can get what I want today, let me tell you exactly what. Let me tell you exactly what my lineup is. It's gonna be. We're gonna start with Drake. Need that. We're gonna start with, we're gonna go with, yeah, Tory Lanez. I feel like we would do well together, me and Tory Lanez. And P&D, Party Next Door, sick with the melodies and stuff. I feel like, you know, he would understand me, and I would understand him. 
You know what, actually? Um, you know, in high school, I did know, but I knew, I found out after the fact that it was Party Next Door, I knew him as Jerron B. We had this thing named um, Midi Club in school where it's just all the artists like in the school, they come together and they join like this club and we just stay after school and make music and stuff. And it was a really good idea considering the fact that we were in high school, so there was a lot of other shit we could have been doing, you know, but we stayed back after school and made music and stuff. And he was in that program and he was Jerron B. And um, yeah, and, and yeah, it's so dope. I'm so proud of him. It went so far so quickly i didn't even know it all went they all flew past me but yeah so that's dope um what's next for double m so i am currently working on an ep um i'm very excited about this ep because only because i only have like two songs out plus a little bit of dance all like it's like i have me with the little with the two songs you guys heard that's just me like scratching the surface of the rap game with my EP, we're going at it. See, you get what I'm saying? I'm gone deep in it. So I can't wait, like, I can't wait for you guys. I'm like, yeah, they, you know, they hear me and I'm here and I'm chirpy. Just wait till I'm pissed off. Just wait till I'm pissed off, you get me? So yes, that's what's next for me. EP and hopefully get to do some big things, man. Big stages. All right. Um, who are your main musical influences? So I'm gonna break this down into two parts. You can't chat too much, but pretty much it's um. So when I was younger, um, what I grew up listening to, like um, uh, Aaliyah, Monica, Destiny's Child, um, Mary J. Blige, Missy Elliott, and Timberland. Timberland with the beats. I, I always loved them. I feel like I I would click so well. They would they would love me, Missy Elliott and Timberland. But um, yeah. So that was that's. I think that's what kind of sparked the love for music, the passion for music, is listening to these people do this as I was younger. Now, when I'm older now, I notice that it's funny enough. Um, Dex Adapts, Drake, Shensia, um, who else? Party Next Door, Rihanna, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj. Um, because the, all, of, all those names I listed, they understood the assignment. And, and when I listen to their, their music, it definitely inspires me. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. Those are definitely some musical influences for me. Um, you're the music ambassador representing planet Earth in outer space. What are three albums you would take with you to show the aliens? <laughs> that's hard. Okay, so let me tell you, hard isn't good, like that's cool. Um, okay, so, yeah, eh? Uh, all right, so let me tell it's gonna be, okay, it's gonna be the Carter Three, Little Wayne, you guys know what's up. It's gonna be the Carter Three. I, I can do that back and front. I can do it in sign language if you want me to listen, <laughs> but you feel me, I can, I can do that back and front. So the Carter Three, nothing was the same, Drake, you know, that summer was mod, you feel me? <laughs> so we, we all know. Um, the writing's on the wall, Destiny's Child. That one's back and front too. So yeah, those are, those are that's my own personal bus up, you get me? So once again, my name is Double M. You can find me on Instagram, B-B-B-L underscore M. You can find me on Snapchat, Caramel Skin, two A's after the R, you get me? And um, yeah, so you can find my music on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, The Wall Works. Just type me in Google, you will see it. So yeah, um, and yes, thank you so much for watching my session with Off The Record. I'll gang with this. <laughs>